My name is Brian Crandall and I'm an Applications Consultant for Syncade Logistics at Emerson Process Management. It goes without saying that health, safety, security, and environmental compliance is essential to running an effective terminal. This is because terminals can be complex and hazardous environments. And as such, terminal managers recognize the need to keep their people safe and inspire confidence in their staff to complete their work tasks. The purpose of this video is to show you how Syncade Logistics helps terminal managers accomplish this and increases health, safety, security, and environmental compliance. It does this by reconciling training and permit compliance at the terminal. Now let's look at the application and see the features that allow this to happen. The first is asset validation. Syncade Logistics ensures that training records, government permits, and safety certifications are all up to date for all the assets at the terminal. For example, let me select this driver here by clicking on the node and then selecting the driver, bringing up the driver screen. Let me select the validation tab. And you can see here that there are three separate validations for this driver. One for a driving test, one for a permit, and one for safety training, each with their own expiration date. If any of these validations expire, the driver will not be able to perform any material transfer activity within the terminal, such as a load or unload of the truck. Validations can apply to other assets as well. To show you them, let me go to the admin menu, click on the custom validations node, and let me resize the screen so it's easier to see. I simply add a new validation group. The drop-down menu will show all the assets at the terminal that can have validations assigned to them. There are trucks, trailers, drivers, carriers, suppliers, customers, destinations, site security cards, and loads. Next, I will show how to assign a validation to an asset. To do that, let me close this window here, click on the user menu tab. For this example, I will assign a validation to a vehicle. I simply expand the vehicle's node, click on the vehicle, in this case, vehicle 200. That brings up the vehicle information form. I click on the validation tab, click on the add button and I will do the drop down for the validation. In this case, a state inspection validation has been assigned in the system. So I click on that and I give it the expiration date as prescribed by the regulatory agency. I will say for this example, a few months out and then I click save. So now this vehicle, when it shows up to the terminal, must be at a date earlier than this date shown here or else it will not be able to perform activities at the terminal. With a variety of assets and flexible configuration options, it is easy to track and enforce training and permit compliance at the terminal with Syncade Logistics. The next feature is third-party integration. Syncade Logistics can integrate with virtually any third-party system to communicate regulatory and compliance information. To show this as an example, consider the scenario where all the product amounts for the terminal are tabulated for the day and sent to a regulatory agency via the internet. The loads are shown here in the user interface, starting at number one, going on and continuing on from there. And also here, represented in the database backend, starting at load number one and continuing on. Syncade Logistics uses an application called Message Broker, shown here, to structure the information from the database into files which are sent to be read by a web service of the regulatory agency. Going back to the Syncade Logistics truck and rail car movement screen, other examples could use a system to provide health and safety data such as driver hours or road hours for vehicles. In any case, Syncade Logistics provides seamless data transfer to third-party systems which improves regulatory compliance. As you've just seen, Syncade Logistics helps the terminal be compliant with health, safety, security, and environmental regulations. This in turn helps terminal managers avoid bad press from an incident by minimizing the risk of that incident ever happening. 
and it allows the rest of the terminal staff to run a world-class terminal facility. For more information, visit the website shown here. Thank you very much for watching.